Hello, yes, starting your own group. That's right, I make this video in response to a message I've just received an hour ago or so from a young 17 year old lad that lives in Leicester. He asked for some advice, what can he do given where he lives? Well, it depends where about in Leicester you are. If you're living in the heart of the Punjab, there's not much you can do, but if you're outside the Punjab, living in a white area, if there still are any in and around Leicester, then you need to network with fellow like-minded young people, uh, those you've known most of your life and those or those you went to school with, those you know you can trust, they know they can trust you. Have a little place to meet, maybe your back bedroom where you all hang out or whatever. Uh, pick a chairman, organiser, treasurer, secretary, whatever, get a little group going, get a little table, set a little table up in the back room and uh, decide who's going to be who, who's going to be what, who's going to mind the money and so on and so on. And then find out a little bit about the ward where you live in, the community, and maybe uh, your family's long standing in the community who are well known and respected. And you can be an ambassador then, not only for your family, but for the people of that community. You can stand, I, I believe, I'd recommend standing as an independent. So you can't be tainted or tarnished with anything. Oh, I don't know about voting for him, he's racist. And also, you'll have the standing and respect of your family who uh, are looked up to in the ward as well, which will help a big deal, right? It will help immensely that. That's the word, immensely. It will help immensely. Now, the main theme must be we must stop immigration or we're going to lose our beloved Great Britain. And it's not about hating anyone. It's about understanding, common sense. And um, if we don't do something now, we're, we're going to live to regret it. Well, the young kids are today and their kids. It's, it's, it's terrible what could happen. In fact, it's not an option. We've got to make sure it doesn't happen. But anyway, so that's what my advice, young man, is that to network with some friends Right, those, as I say, you probably went to school with, and given you're only 17, you'll probably be hanging out with those you went to school with. Get a little meeting place in the back bedroom, pick who's going to be what, and then once you've, you've sorted your little committee out and who's who and what's what, then have some plans then, how you're going to approach things. Read the local uh, papers, um, even free ones, you get pushed through the door all, and they, they can be quite handy to read and... Find out what's happening locally in the ward, what's happening regarding rubbish, the bins get being emptied, crime, um, dogs fouling the, the, the pavement and so on and so on, as well as uh, asylum seekers that may be getting dumped in the area, which is taking up more resources. It's impacting on the local schools, local doctors, local dentists, uh, local uh, job market, local housing market, and so on and so on. And, Get your information, get your facts, put it in a leaflet and when you're old enough, is it 18 you can stand for the council or 21? I'm not quite sure, but either way, either way, regardless, if it's 21, then build up a solid base now for when the, when the time comes when you can stand. Do not get involved with the BMP, the NF or any other uh, outfit that's going to tarnish you long term. You see, you don't want to get a bad name associated with weirdos, cranks and whatever, and people who are just out for violence and trouble. We need new ambassadors for our cause, for British nationalism. In the past, unfortunately, our leaders have been tainted, you know, with stuff we, he could have done without Nick Griffin. He wasn't too bad, Nick Griffin, but John Tyndall, you know, he was, um, he was tarnished too much with some very, very bad baggage, you know. So we need new ambassadors now that are going to, Push British nationalism, even if it's only an independent you're standing for, you will still be pushing the fundamental principles of British nationalism. Also, I recommend you read John Tyndall's 11th Hour. That will, understand, will, explain, that will explain everything you need to know regarding British nationalism. Right? It's an excellent book. And it'll also inspire you. The late, great John Tyndall was an amazing man. God bless you, John Tyndall. Right? You need to read his book. Now, this doesn't only apply to you, young man, and your friends in Leicester, but right across the country now. All the young people out there that are frustrated, they're fed up, 
They can't make head or tail of life, what's happening, everything's frustrating and depressing. They don't know where they're coming or going. Become British nationalists now. Start your own little group, as I've said. Uh, pick a chairman, treasurer, organised secretary. Meet in one of your back rooms, bedroom, one of your uh, back bedrooms, and start get your little committee going. Right at the moment, British nationalism is out with the count. But when it's back up on its feet, you'll be its new ambassadors. That's what you will be. Keep yourself sound and safe. Avoid all forms of confrontation. If you need any help from me, I'm here 24-7. Uh, and we can do this, right? And that's very encouraging that I've had this message. It made me emotional, to tell you the truth. Okay, thank you.